Today I went on a bit of a bike ride, but with a nice little difference. This one went via the cellar doors, a few wineries and breweries. Watch on to find out more. Hey, how's it going? You're watching Iron Will, your place to find tips, tricks, and experience in triathlon, multi-sport, and endurance events and training. Today, I am going on a cycling tour through a few wineries in the McLaren Vale region of South Australia. And I've never actually been to a winery and tasted the wines before. The only time I have been to a winery, I was on my uh, provisional license with my driving license. So that was at zero alcohol. So today I'm actually gonna go there and try the wines and enjoy the wines. And it is a cycling tour. So they provide you a bike, they provide you a helmet, and we all cycle through the different wineries and see the different places, which is gonna be amazing. And because we're gonna have a little bit of wine throughout the day, we're not gonna be cycling to and from Adelaide city center to McLaren Vale. It's about a 45 minute drive. So we're taking a bus. Here it is. Have we got a GoPro, have we? Yeah, yeah. Hey! Why not? Am I on? Hey, yeah, yeah. Just talking about for a moment. Hold up the camera. So we're pretty much going to ride straight to Wollonga Markets, 10 to 11. It's probably a half hour ride. It shuts at 12.30. So we've got to get going. You missed the brief. Uh, Wollonga Markets has just been awarded last night uh, South Australia's best farmer's market. Wow. It's amazing. It's been on TV. It's an awesome... Uh, we're lucky enough that it's open today for us. Yeah. It's in Wollonga, so we're going to join the trail, which is just crossing the road here. <laughs> we're just going to go up here, and we're going to go that way. <coughs> back. So I'm going to be at the back. We're going to follow the trail. We're just going to keep following the trail. Beautiful scenery. Take some photos, uh, and we'll get to Wollonga Market. Enjoy the ride. Cool. Follow me to the start, and we're off. being a town but it also has a whole bunch of different wineries in it. We're stopping up at the markets, award-winning markets to begin with and then going through a few different wineries and possibly even a brewery in the afternoon before heading back to the city. So that'll be awesome. winning Wollonga Markets.
bubbles up and it lifts all the solids, so the skins and the pulp, to the top and all the juice sits at the bottom. And so with grapes, red or white, the pulp is clear and the juice is clear and all the colour is in the skins. And so for red wine, we really want to mix those skins with the pulp and juice to get the colour out. So we do that in a couple of ways. One is using this little pump here and the red hose is at the top, we just pump the juice straight out of the bottom and put it back on to the top. And then the other is called plunging, where we literally push the fruit down into the juice. And so I think you've all just tasted the Grenache inside. And so this is the 2019 Grenache. And so this is quite new, this wine, so it's got a lot of fresh, bright fruit characters. And the name of this winery is Samson Tall. Here he is buried.
I'm gonna grab a chair and push. And I'm back in Adelaide, well, almost. So Tour de Vines runs tours all across Australia, New Zealand, Asia, Europe, all sorts of cycling tours through wineries and breweries are the ones that I'm specifically looking at. And they do all sorts of different types of tours. So you can also do like single day tour, like what I did, uh, multi-day tours. And they also do like tours where they book everything for you. Uh, so they book the lunches, they book the tastings, they set out your itinerary, they set out the routes where you need to cycle along, and it's a self-guided tour. So that's a really awesome opportunity if you don't necessarily like having to be tied down to specific times or having someone guiding you if you want to do it at your own pace. And today our tour was run by Damien, who is actually the founder of the company. Uh, he started it, I believe, back in the early 2000s, doing cycling tours as an alternative to other types of say bus tours that sort of thing just as a bit of a hobby on the side and it slowly built and slowly grew into this awesome multi-country multi-state all sorts of tours company that it is right now which to be doing tours on bicycles and cycling around as a tour rather than being stuck on a bus you can actually get out there breathe in the atmosphere touch things slow down take a photo get out and walk around you don't have to be stuck inside a bus as a tour and that I think adds real depth to the tours and makes them just so much more interactive and fun. And if you'd like to have a look and see if there's any Tour Divines tours for you, just check out their website. It's www.tourdivines, as in Tour de France, but with vines.com.au. Thanks for watching. If you want swim, bike, run and exercise content every week from here in Australia, then hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you in the next one. Cheerio.